here's the crankshaft assembly with the connecting rod. And I actually planned on rebuilding this and replacing that bearing right there. I even bought a new bearing for that, but I realized it's actually pretty difficult to split a crankshaft and, you, and then once you put it back together, you need to true it and balance it and do all this stuff. So uh, this bearing actually isn't really bad. It has no up and down play. A little bit of side to side, but that's normal. It's got no up and down play and it spins freely. So I think I'm just going to put this back in the engine how it is. I don't want to mess anything up. Throughout this whole process, I'm going to be using this stuff a lot. This is just Permatex engine assembly lubricant. I'm also going to get some on the lower end bearing. I'm going to load up the bearing with some too. All right, there it goes. Let's go ahead and pound it in. I've got the bearing filled up with a good bit of grease there. All ready to go. Gonna use a rubber mallet, pound it in. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit all these gears and everything. And then that goes right there. So this is, it's definitely easiest to put it all in all at the same time. Maybe. It's definitely a little bit of a tight fit, but if it ain't tight, it ain't right. All right, enough playing around. According to the diagram on this shaft, uh, we still have these two gears, these two gears that are not on the shaft yet. So let's go ahead and install those. This one goes on first, looks like it goes this way. So remember when this uh, split in half needle bearing fell out of the engine and I had no idea what it was? I split the case and there's bearings falling out. Well, according to the diagram, it goes on the counter shaft right here. It fits perfectly right there. Eventually that's going to go into this sprocket right here since i am just an amateur this is my first complete engine rebuild i am going to just uh smear a tiny tiny light coating of grease on the gasket surface so that if i do have to pull this thing apart again it will uh, separate easy, easy, easily. I'm also going to be coating the dowel pins in some anti-seize lubricant just so they don't get stuck. There's one. There's the other one. Here we go, here's the complete gasket kit. This is Suzuki new old stock. The good, good OEM stuff. Here we go. So I think I forgot the Kickstarter gear. I forgot quite a few things actually. <laughs> what was I doing? All right, so first spring goes in. Gonna get just a touch of assembly lube in there. 
Then this little piece goes in. And then this piece goes in next. Then we can go ahead, put it right in there like that. And there it is, there's the click. Nice. All right, now all this goes in there. So this is the tachometer assembly. This uh, little rod pretty much spins inside of this aluminum pipe, which gives you uh, the engine RPM reading. So. And there's also a bolt that goes in here to hold that aluminum pipe rod holder in place. Forgot this little stopper assembly. Just stops the Kickstarter from uh, spinning too far. This goes in first. I definitely want to get some Loctite on this screw. And then let's go ahead and get it in there. Goes just like that. Okay, we're good. So now we're finally ready to close the cases up. All right, let's do it. This time's for real, bye-bye transmission. I hope to never see you again. Gonna see if I can use some clamps to help me with this process. All right, that was probably a dumb idea. I don't think I need the clamps. There it is. So before I do anything else, I want to put the spring and knob back in. This is what, this is what uh, holds the gear drum, which is right below that hole. That's what holds it in place. Now I'm going to start screwing the cases together. I'm going to start off with this side. Okay, I'm just going to get those a little bit tight for now. And I'm going to torque them down to the proper torque spec later on. All right, so I've got all of my parts here. These are all the parts that go on this side of the engine. Retaining plate for the uh, the bearing, kickstarter, spring, and just a ton of good stuff. Here's the gear selector. Luckily, I was uh, smart enough, I was dumb in a lot of ways, but I was smart enough to take a picture of how this all was assembled. So I'm gonna be using that to guide me in this process. Goes through the gears. So we're in first right now. You can see that's spinning. We're in first. Half a click up. All right, so now it's in neutral. As you can see, I can hold that while spinning the other side back in a second. There we're in second. Okay, transmission seems like it's working. Okay, this goes in next. This one's gonna get a bit of Loctite as well. Just a little dot, that's it. Just to make me feel better so I can sleep at night. Okay, next I think this pretty much certainly goes right there. All right. So 
So this has been my method at getting these screws tight. I think that's good. All right, next this. I think all that really does is help shift the gears. It kind of is a little secondary uh, propulsion thing for the gear shifter here. So I got that on and next is this little plate. There's this little pin that goes in the selector drum and then this plate goes over top. I didn't think about that. It's actually uh, spinning the drum while I'm trying to tighten that. I guess I can just get it all the way over and then tighten that up. Okay, good. What's next? Oh, the Kickstarter stuff. So first the spring goes on the other way. Okay, the spring's actually going all the way down here. And then it catches, and then this plastic piece, right like that. Let's test out the Kickstarter. Okay, looks like it works. I haven't seen any timing marks. Oh, that's because this is a damn two stroke. I was. <laughs> All right, so now over here on the other side of the gear selector drum, there's this little spring. There was the, like one of the last pieces of the puzzle, and I finally figured out what it goes to. So the spring goes in there. Then that little dimply thing goes right in there. Oh, I wonder what the torque spec for this one is. I think that it is the engine sprocket nut. 35 foot-pounds, let's see what that is. There it is, 35 foot-pounds. Now we just gotta bend the tabs down on the washer. Perfect. All right, now the clutch. We got a washer and then the inner uh, hub. So there's that washer, which goes on like that. And then the hub goes in. All right, and here are my brand new clutch plates. I had these soaking in oil. So we start off with a clutch plate and then a steel plate. And just alternate like that. 